Hey guys, Paradox Hill here. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is part eight of our uh, creating a Discord bot in Python series. In this video, we are going to be uh, creating slash commands for our Discord bot. Uh, now, small disclaimer here: this is actually a re-upload of another video about slash commands. Uh, I had to delete it off YouTube because there's a lot of problems with the video, and there was, I just I couldn't edit it all out. <laughs> So I thought it would be quicker just to make a new one that's a little more cleaner. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, the first thing you want to do is actually make sure your uh, Discord.py 2.0 package is fully up to date. To do that, just hit your Windows and R key on your keyboard, type in CMD, hit enter or press OK. And you want to pip install Discord. So... You either type this in, or there is another command, I can't remember the full command of it. But uh, it's in, it's pinned in the comments on my um, first video. Uh, basically, just make sure that your discord.py is uh, fully up to date, because they do update the slash commands quite a bit, I'm pretty sure. So if it says requirement already satisfied, or if it uninstalls and then reinstalls it again, uh, you're pretty much good to go. So after that, you can go ahead and close that out, and we can actually get to coding. So in your on ready function for your uh, event, the one that uh, prints out success bot is connected to Discord. Above that print statement, we're going to type in await client or bot or whatever you have your um, commands.bot labeled as. So client dot tree dot sync. So uh, after that, we are good to go. We can go ahead and make our slash command. So just anywhere you want to make your slash command, we are going to type in client.tree.command. So before, uh, with a regular old-fashioned prefix command, it'll be just client.command. For slash command, I think it's commands.tree.command. I'm not 100% sure, but that is most likely what it is, because your client is basically just commands dot whatever you're making it. So after that, uh, inside these parameters here, we can have two things. We can have a name, which is going to be the name of our command. So I'm going to make a ping command today, and we can have a description. So the description is basically just whatever the command does. So for my ping command, I can just put shows bots latency or uh, make it look a little more better reading it so shows the bots latency and then we can put in ms or milliseconds so there's our name and description now we can go ahead and make our uh, function so a sync def and then ping and instead of CTX, like we usually pass in, it is actually going to be um, in a thing called interaction. Now, for slash commands, we do not use context, we use interaction. However, they're basically the same in how they act. So we're going to type in interaction, and then a colon, and then discord dot interaction with a capital I. And if you have any required arguments for your slash command, you can just type them after that. And if you're working inside a cog, you can put self first, and then interaction, just for the interaction, etc. Um, this one's not requiring any arguments, so I'm pretty much done there. Uh, and then I can go ahead and just finish out my command. So I'm going to create a variable here called bot latency. I want to set it equal to a round method of clients dot latency multiplied by 1,000 and then that's going to give us the latency in milliseconds and then instead of await ctx.send it is going to be interaction dot response dot send message and then uh, we can just put our variable in or if you want to make it look nice we can type in an f string and then we can type in pong and then uh, some curly braces, and inside that we can type in our uh, variable, and then we can put in this at the end, just like that. After you've done that, we are basically done with our slash command. Uh, this is just a really simple ping command, it doesn't really do anything special. But um, the main differences between a prefix and slash command is, uh, well, one, obviously, 
most notable, it uses a forward slash like this instead of a um, prefix. And uh, the decorator is just different. It has dot tree in the middle instead of just client dot command. Uh, you can give it a description on top of a name. And instead of context, you use interaction. So after that, we're going to go ahead and run our bot now because we are good to go. We have already made our slash command. So I'm going to give it some time to load up. Um, and then after that, we can go ahead and just type our forward slash in. And all right, it should load up and it looks just like this. So we have the name and the description we gave it. Those are both taken from here. And um, we can go ahead and just click that and then hit enter. And um, it gives us our uh, latency, Pong 505 milliseconds. Ooh, it's a bit uh, high. I think I'm having some connection issues tonight. It is storming nearby, so that's probably why. But um, yeah, so our slash command works just like that. And uh, we are pretty much done, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I, uh, I do apologize if it is rushed. Again, this is the uh, second re-upload, hopefully the last re-upload I have to do tonight. But uh, yeah, uh, if you guys need any help with your code, or if you simply just want to hang out with me and a bunch of other people, feel free to join my Discord server. The link to that will be in the description. Um, I try to help uh, as many people as I can, and so uh, do my staff. And, uh, yeah. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you for 100 subscribers, and if you like videos just like this, feel free to subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And, uh, I look forward to continuing this series even more. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.